Okay, so guys, today I wanna to do a quick video actually talking about tomorrow's Odd is Good Challenge. I wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of time to prepare because this one, guys, it is a little odd. It's gonna be our oddest one so far, but I really do think it can be one of those things that creates a fun memory and also uh, drives home the spiritual significance of what it means to really be a, a diverse church, a multicultural church, and this this diverse but unified at the same time body of Christ. So here's what it is, and don't freak out, don't can't swipe off the video and go find something else because you know this isn't for you, but tomorrow we're gonna try to eat one food all day long. So you can either do one or two things. You can either say, I'm just gonna fast and let that be a, a spiritual discipline of fasting for me tomorrow, or I'm going to eat one food. Now you may be going, well, why in the world would we just do one food? Well, here's why. Most of you know this, when you sit down to eat a meal, what makes a meal great is multiple ingredients, it's multiple different foods coming together to truly make that something that is something you actually wanna ingest and eat. And all those flavors, whether it's butter, sauce, spices, all the savory and all the sweet, that's what makes it awesome. And that's kind of like how the local church is. It takes all these different ingredients to really make a local church as awesome as it really can be and as, as great as God intended it to be. So tomorrow we're gonna kinda go the opposite direction and go, let's see what it's like to just go a single day on one single ingredient, one single food. So let me just give you some tips and tricks on this and some guidelines. Uh, tacos don't count, pizza doesn't count, casserole doesn't count. All of those things are kind of a food that's kind of made up of a bunch of different things. So try to stick as much to one ingredient as possible. Some um, foods I would suggest would be eggs. Um, oatmeal would be one, rice would be one that I would suggest, potatoes would be ones I would suggest, uh, a bag of Doritos, like you just eat Doritos all day. Some of you already, your only thing you eat all day long is just coffee, uh, so that's probably not a good idea. But stick to one thing, obviously, if you have some health stuff and health concerns, this is not a good idea. Um, but either fast or go, I'm gonna just eat one thing and this is gonna be what we do together as a church. We're already thinking about as a staff, kind of we're all kind of picking and choosing what food that we're gonna lean into. We're gonna make uh, Josh eat Doritos all day, I think. So that'll be fun. Um, I think I'm gonna go with eggs. So um, uh, it's gonna be fun at the beginning and probably um, not fun towards the end, but we'll, we'll see what happens. It's gonna be a, a great experience to kind of drive home this reality that Things really are better together, and when they are, when they come together, all the different ingredients of God's church come together to be one thing. It really is beautiful, and we'll be reminded of that reality tomorrow by just experience the reality that one thing really isn't enough to be able to live off of. So go and do what you need to do today to prepare for that. So like for me, I'm probably gonna go have to buy like a dozen more eggs than we already have at the house. Uh, for you, it may mean going and figuring out what that one thing is, making sure you've got some in the pantry, some in the fridge. Uh, but we wanna get this out to you today so you can be looking forward to this tomorrow and kinda of just prepare in advance, cancel those lunch plans, whatever you need to do. Uh, we're gonna have fun. This is gonna actually be a odd, very odd, odd is a good challenge. But I, I hope that you, if you haven't done one yet, this is a great one to jump in on. It's the most odd, so start there. And it'll be fun together. Thank you.